Hello everyone, let's start by creating our animation system foundation. So I already imported a, an animation that I um, tweak a little bit. This is from the asset store so I cannot um, distribute this one. But uh, any animation can do the work for you. So let's go to the animator that we are using right now so let's see uh, we have in the resources our prefab player let's open the prefab then check the controller that we are using and let's add the animation there let's make sure that we are checking the foot IK to avoid the sliding and from here let's go to the parameters tab and create a new bool parameter and let's call it is moving let's drag a transition create a transition from the idle state to the walk state and the other way around click the first one the first transition and make sure it's moving set to true and uncheck has exit time and for the walk to idle uncheck has exit time and also add the condition that is moving is set to false that's all that we need to do here in the animator Going back to the prefab where we have the animator controller, uncheck the apply root motion. Then we need to add a photon animator view in the layer, the first layer check continuous as well as is moving the first parameter we have here, the only one, to continuous as well. Let's move to the root of the prefab at the player game object where we have the photon view and let's make sure that this new animator view was added as an observed component. Save changes in your prefab and now we can move on. Okay, so since we need to somehow change this boolean to false or true depending of uh, the move direction of the character and uh, I don't want to use uh, the set bool passing uh, magic string to it to the animator let's create a static class to hold all our animator hashes so for that let's go to our sources folder create a new folder let's call it core open up the, that folder and create a blank script call it constants let unity compile okay open up the script visual studio And from here, let's change the sealed to a static. Remove the model behavior. And here we can add a public static class animator hash. And inside that one, we can create a public static int. is moving param equals animator string to hash is moving careful with the spelling it should be the same as we have in the animator controller okay so we can close this one and let unity compile the changes and as you might guess 
uh, what we need now is our entities components we, our data holders so for sure we need some sort of data to contain this uh, boolean data and for that we have an entity that has a special components are not special but as you remember in the previous videos if we create an empty component it will be treated as a flag type of component so that's what we need to do let's move on to the components folder into the game uh, context folder and let's here create our components So right click on the folder, create entities component and let's call this one moving component. Now that we are here, uh, let's create the second component we need, which is uh, the component that we hold the animator con uh, game object. So let's create, uh, sorry, no C sharp. this one entities component and let's call this one animator view component and let's open up in Visual Studio now so the moving component um, we said that this is a flag type of component. The word is will be added automatically by the generator. So we can leave it as it is, no issue. But for the animator view component, we need to add the actual animator component here. Uh, Unity component, I mean. So let's remove this line and make using unity engine and inside here we add the public animator value there we go let unity compile the changes as um, usual when we add new components we need to go to the tools jenny and generate our wrappers code for us okay so to follow the same steps the next uh, will be to add these uh, new components to our create local player system so let's go to the system folder game uh, context and locate the create local player system open up that one in Visual Studio or your IDE and from here uh, in the last video we created this add move direction so we could add next to local player add animator view so from here we have the player view game object and here we need to query the get component in this case in children Because if I go back to Unity, you will see that this is our prefab. This is the root game object, and the animator is in the children as, as a children of the root game object. So let's go back to the Visual Studio, and the next um, component that we need to add to the local player will be the moving component, which is a flag component. That's why we have the is moving already here so we set it to false remember this is in the initialize which is uh, like the awake behavior in, in the mono behaviors uh, functions save it changes and the next thing that we need to do is create a, uh, now our animator system So for that, let's close uh, 
or minimize Visual Studio and let's create a new system since we are already here in the systems uh, game folder let's create it entitas execute system and let's call this one update animator system open the script in the your editor and uh, from here let's change some things here so instead of uh, the full context we need a read-only i group like on previous video and in this case it's going to be a game entity let's call it entities and let's assign it here so entities from the context game let's retrieve a group and this group need to be uh, containing all of components with a move direction component on it with a move speed on it and lastly all components that had an animator view so now that we have the group that we need to work with we can go to the execute function and do our for each game entity entities and here what we need to do since we know that um, this group already has an animator view we just need to fetch it so animator view the value will retrieve the animator component and from here we set the bool and from our constants we retrieve the hash it's moving param and from here also since we uh, have our uh, movement speed and move direction we can set um, or query the is moving component accordingly so the last uh, step will be uh, to update our update move direction in order to change the is moving flag so let's go and open up the update move direction system right where we replaced the component of the move direction we can just query or do a is moving set to move direction is not equal vector 30 now the next step of course is to add this new system the update animato system to our sandbox so let's find the script mono behaviors sandbox system and for this one uh, I would like to have it in the standard or the normal update method so let's add it to our systems systems dot add new update animator system and we pass the context okay let's go back to unity let it compile and once it's done let's go back to the uh, scene and let's give it a try locally first ok 
Okay, so locally it's working. Now let's make a build. So I always like to switch to an empty scene before doing any build. Build settings, build. Okay, so I paused the video to make the, the builds. Let's try it out. And there we go. We have the animation of the walking cycle being replicated over the network. I think we could decrease the movement speed a little bit and later on probably fixing this sort of sliding a little bit perhaps. But uh, for a foundation this is our start starting point that we can uh, start building all the functionality for the animator inside this one. So thank you for watching and um, on the next video we are starting implementing some other features uh, like the uh, health bar and the, as I said the, the player plate name displayed on over the network. So see you in the next video. Thank you.